Welcome, welcome, everybody. It is John the Net Guy. It is Tech Day Live number four, <laughs> a little bit later than usual. The chat is already blowing up. This is ridiculous. It's hilarious because, you know, you set something for 6.15 and you show up at 6.30, you know, fashionably late. Apparently, nobody figured that part of it out. But uh, no, I really do appreciate you guys checking in here. We had a great show. It feels like a week ago, but it was actually only just Friday. Um, I did a really cool show on soldering, soldering techniques. The after show was amazing. We did that on Discord. I'll give you some more information about that later. Uh, but we actually made one of the devices. I'm going to let the Amazon folks in here because I want them to see this. It is so cool what we were able to put together. Give me one second to close a few things off and get the Amazon guys in here. Here we go. Three, two one <laughs> amazon guys are in okay there we go i gotta say hi to them real quick make sure everybody's happy hello everyone this will give me a good chance to show you guys what i did last week after the show i connected up with some 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 of our viewers that were on there that had some things to say and some suggestions which i took very well i think um and we actually put together the circuit. So this, believe it or not, is that FM radio that I showed you. So it's got uh, volume buttons, channel buttons, power buttons, a FM uh, antenna and headphone input, which is also your headphones. And then it also has over here uh, these two. So uh, these are going to be uh, for batteries. And then I haven't finished it off yet, which is to put the zip ties through it. And I have the world's smallest FM radio that you could build yourself. <laughs> it was so cool. Uh, I have to give a quick shout out to, here we go, <laughs> Jim Cornell. He gave me a hard time. Big guy must be napping yet. Uh, Jim Cornell, he deserves a nap. He was my high school electronics teacher, uh, a pilot, uh, just an all around uh, renaissance man, taught me a ton of amazing stuff. I got went on, got my pilot's license afterward, uh, you know, encouraged by him. But yeah, um, soldering was one of those things. Let me show you the, the solder joints. I didn't even get to show you the cool part about this. So again, like I said, we made this thing from scratch. That's surface mount soldering there and a bunch of through holes and stuff. This was a great project. If you've got kids, if you want to pick up a $12 soldering iron, that little kit that I showed you last week and this one that's on the carousel right now, if you did those two, you could have a lot of fun. And even if it doesn't work out, mine didn't work the first time. I had to go through and double check all my joints. But uh, even if it doesn't work out the first time, you'll figure it out and you'll make a really good impression with your kids. Uh, you also learn how to fix things, which is great. Just double check in the chat here, uh, making sure nobody is missing out. Like I said, I've got a few items today I want to show you. Let me go back here to the carousel so I can pull them up. Uh, I've got three different sets of earbuds. Those are all sent by vendors. So again, every product today, this has been amazing, but every product on the show today has been sent by vendors. I wish I could say that about tomorrow's. Uh, I'm going to do a show tomorrow that's going to be guy stuff. And when I say guy stuff here, let me, let me show you. We're talking DeWalt. <laughs> right? I wish these guys sponsored me, but no, uh, this is a DeWalt set of headphones for you know noise canceling when you're working on heavy equipment or something this is going to be a safety headphone with bluetooth and a bunch of other cool features that's coming tomorrow today is going to be more consumer grade products which is awesome so we're going to start those off with a set of earbuds which i've actually shown you kind of before i showed you the prior version um, so these ones right here are the capoxo let me see if i can do it on the top down so you guys can see these I'm trying a bunch of different neat stuff in the studio today. So it's either going to work amazing or I'm going to be chasing my tail. But that's the unit right there. These are the N7s. Let me get this out of here. And what the key to fame on these ones is they're an incredibly budget set of earbuds. So if you're looking for a gift, these would be an excellent gift as well as capable. So I'll pull them out. This is the difference. The last ones were completely white. This is the case on these new ones. They're black and it's already trying to pair right there. So you can see the, the uh, earbuds there and the case is showing you 99%. Now, as I drop the earbuds back in and I close it, 
it's actually going to start charging them. Now, hopefully you guys can see that. Again, it's really hard to see with that camera, but that's showing 99% is charging both earbuds. So it's a charging case. And then if I drop them in, I can hear them saying pairing already. These are going to be for listening to music, obviously, uh, drowning out the kids, you know, podcasts. They also have built in microphones so you can talk with them. I'm doing something a little bit different this week. I actually have some samples that I was able to pre make and I'm going to cue it up here and play it for you. And these are actually what they sound like. And I'll be down in the corner. I'll catch you guys here in just a little bit. Here it comes. Hey, it's John the Neck Guy, and these are the Capoxo N7 Black Earbuds. Which ones? The ones I'm wearing over here. You can barely even see them. It's awesome. Uh, this is the black edition of what was one of my favorite super budget-friendly uh, headphones. Why? Because they have all the features you're going to want. It's going to have a wireless charging case. It's going to have a case that's super thin. Again, very reminiscent of AirPods, anyone? Uh, the look of them, not so bad. There you go. There's one out of the ear. Uh, really simple. I reviewed the white ones before, and they were really good. And they said, hey, guess what? We have black ones coming out, and they're even cooler. They've got Bluetooth 5.3 now. Uh, they do still continue to have the wireless charging case. They do have a USB-C backup charger if you want a wired charger. But you know I'm what? Still here, I sit down at my desk. I, I put this left. on my wireless charging mat when my phone's not there. And these charge up, but the case will charge them multiple times. And the case has its own little display. You can see mine's at 99% right now. And you can run them in single ear mode or double ear mode, however you want to do it. Now, they are passive, so they're not going to actually noise cancel or do anything fancy like that. But, you know, for the price, can't beat them. <laughs> so let me know what you guys think of that. I thought of different ways that I could talk about the headphones, and I said, you know what? Why don't I just record my experience with them while I have them out and let you know what that sounds like. So uh, I'm going to go ahead and put on the right camera here so you can see them. So they fit pretty tight in the ear. Now, one of the things you'll notice is if you shake your head around, I was always worried about AirPods falling out. They actually fit really well, but they don't. If I show you real close up here, whoop, there you go. So there's the little driver. They don't have a way of uh, retaining like with silicone or anything like that. So, um, that is one drawback, but if you get a good fit, like these are for my ears, they're not going to fall out. Um, and the price on these is fantastic. Let me pull them up in the Amazon shop. That's another thing I should show you guys is I've actually got my Amazon shop up right here. Let me share that for you. This is my net guy window. Of course, Edge wants to do a bunch of different things. There's our show going on right now. There's the featured product. If you ever want to visit my shop, go ahead and use that URL at the bottom, amazon.com slash shop slash the net guy. Even if you miss a show, it's going to have it in here. Check this out. $8 off. You got to be logged in to do that. $21. So $21 set of rechargeable earbuds. And the other cool thing about them is that they actually have wireless charging. So it's wireless QI charging compatible, our new car actually has this wireless QI charging ability, which is kind of cool. So I can actually set these down in the console if, if I don't have my phone there and these will charge. If I do have my phone there, I can set these and plug them in on the bottom USB-C or set them on another charging mat and they do that. So another really cool feature uh, that these guys have. So again, that's our first set of earbuds, probably on the budget side, uh, still an incredible value. I'm going to go ahead and put these off to the side so I can show you the next product. And that is actually going to be a gaming headset. I know there's a, a couple other vendors of gaming headsets. There's actually a couple others that have already sent me them. Uh, I want to talk to you guys today about this one, which is a budget gaming headset option. And I was actually blown away by the quality of it. We're going to do a quick unboxing here because I need that for the video. <laughs> Let me bring this guy down so you guys can see him. I'll show you what I'm doing here. I'll bring you guys on the top camera. Okay. So best uh, I could find, this is called the Captain 300 model of gaming headsets. I'm going to pull it up here on the carousel for you guys that are watching along. It's a 2.4 gigahertz gaming headset, but it's got some other tricks up its sleeve. Um, it has a detachable microphone, which is awesome. It has voice prompts to tell you when you mute and unmute. I 
testing one from another vendor that's very popular with this channel and it doesn't tell you if it's muted or unmuted it's like it makes an audio tone but you kind of have to guess um it has compatibility with playstation switch tablet pc phones mac and xbox that's what the other vendor couldn't do and i'll tell you why this one is compatible with that let's take it out of the box now they have a black version and a white version you know you can pick whichever one suits your fancy um this one i haven't even honestly taken off the shrink wrap yet you'll see me in the video that's not like a flyaway on my head it's it's literally the fact that i have not <laughs> taken the the shrink wrap off but there's the unit themselves and what's cool about this what headset would not be complete without a little bit of RGB? Yes, that is RGB glow. <laughs> now, it's only one color. It's blue. But you know what? It's got RGB. How cool is that? My daughter's going to get a kick out of that. She loves RGB. Just taking a look here. <laughs> um, you know, Jonathan said something interesting about the last product. And I should stop here and check these uh, a little more often. So used to silicone tips for the earbuds that... Um, you know, he does not like those ones when they don't have them. And that's definitely understandable. So that was about our last product. So we're still doing an unbox here. This is the Captain 300 gaming set headset. There's going to be an aux cable TRRS. I'll tell you what that means in a second. It's good. Uh, a USB type C charging. It's going to have the boom arm for your mic. And then it's going to have a USB interface. USB interface is going to be for your Switch or PS3, PS4, whatever has USB. I'm not a big PlayStation guy, honestly. Um, but let me show you how these fit. And then we'll go see what they sound like. So this is pretty slick. Again, putting them on right now. Now, my head is overinflated. I've got a big ego most of the time. <laughs> I won't lie, but these fit really well. And again, the microphone boom is detachable. So what does that look like? Let's take a look on this camera. So this microphone right here, if I want to take it off, let's say I'm just listening to music. Well, I can't take that microphone off. Oh, sorry. I got to do it backwards. <laughs> so very simply goes right in there, take it off, plug it back in. So if I want to use these just to listen to music and I don't want this, you know, annoying microphone, maybe I'm eating. If I want to eat, just take that off for a sec, put that down. Remember to put it back on. Are you going to be that guy in Zoom that everybody is like, hey, hey, your mic's not working, <laughs> whatever. Uh, it is in Bluetooth pairing mode right now. So it started up and you'll see that little blue flashy light. That's because it's trying to pair with the last device that it had. Another cool feature, it has multi-device connection capability. That's a huge thing. It's one of the only Bluetooth headphones today that has the multi-device capability. That means you can be connected to your phone, you can be playing with your buddies online, and you can get a phone call in. Now, you can't use them at the exact same time, so it's gonna switch between the two, but it is gonna let you know your phone's ringing, you can pick up and answer it that way, which is really slick. So it has that multi-device capability. The RGB can be turned on and off, I should show you that. So it doesn't uh, waste the battery all the time. As far as the connectivity on it here, let me show you something interesting. So this is on the other camera. Um, that hinge, it's got this kind of, it, it, the only thing that I would say is maybe a drawback is see how loose that is? That's by design so that it fits and forms to your ears. And as you move around, your you know, headset's not yanking. Very comfortable to wear. Um, again, there's the wire that goes down to each one. It doesn't have a swivel beyond that. So most people don't need a lot. But if you're going to slide this off, it's going to, again, be a little awkward if you're listening to it with one ear. But as a gaming headset and a value at that, which I'll come back to in a second, very good. Let me show you what it sounds like, though, because that's an important thing when you're gaming. You got to know what you sound like. And I'm going to pull those up right now. Here we go. Hey, it's John the Neck Guy, and I'm testing out the Captain 300 gaming headset. Fit finish, not so bad. It's actually got RGB, detachable microphone, Bluetooth that connects to multiple devices. Even includes a convenient little dongle for your non-Bluetooth enabled items. Also included, to give you Xbox compatibility, a auxiliary cable, which can go into your controller and into the headset, which is kind of cool, and a USB-C charger. Overall, this is like everything you need in a gaming headset. Now, audio quality, highs, fantastic, mids, very good, lows, not going to be super bassy, especially the size of these cans, I was expecting a tick more bass, but the mid-range and the highs are so clear that that just could be my equalization. I got to go through some of my test songs again, but this is what it sounds like. Hope you enjoy. 
Man, I tell you, that guy's really good at demoing microphones. No, <laughs> I, you know, I went through all three of the microphones today and then I came back to this one and I realized how good it sounded on playback. You know, when I played it through the headset, you get a lot of that compression. Again, you have to remember, these are microphones going over Bluetooth. Not the biggest part of the Bluetooth bandwidth in the channel there is the, the chat. Um, it does have that compressed sound. Some people like that. Again, you can get the microphone up nice and close. Very comfortable fit and finish here. Uh, let me talk one thing about this. So this is the smallest size they're going to get. Again, probably an eight, nine-year-old would be easily comfortable with the smallest size. You know, you might be able to go smaller, but these are pretty big, comfortable ear cups. Now, ear cups are PU leather. So that's what you're seeing there. Uh, it is not real leather. And some people will go back and forth on this. Some people will like to have fabric on one part, leather on the other, vice versa. Biggest thing is, as long as they're, you know, replaceable, you may end up doing that. <laughs> Doug and Nikki, awesome uh, fellow Amazonians checking in. Thank you so much. I haven't seen you guys in a while. This is awesome. I have kind of been taking a little bit of a break of streaming on Amazon. Uh, you know, you know why. <laughs> and we go back and forth. But it's glad to be here. Uh, glad to show off some of these really cool tech. Again, this was provided by the Captain 300 company. Uh, free of charge for a fair and honest review. And that's hopefully what I'm giving them. Now, another couple cool things, this USB interface, you say, oh, I want to connect this to my PC, but maybe it's a little older, doesn't have cool Bluetooth and all that other stuff built in. Plug this guy in, you're getting a free Bluetooth dongle with this basically. So that dongle is going to go in and get you connected to the headset. That's another connection type. And then lastly, like I said, this aux cable, this cable special for a reason. You notice if you count the number of rings on it, see that if you check all of your aux cables, the ones that have microphone input have four bands there, three rings of black, four bands. This one is a TRRS cable, meaning it's stereo audio and microphone. So uh, mono microphone out. The nice thing about that is you plug it straight into your Xbox controller. And now it's not wireless anymore to the Xbox directly. This dongle it's a Microsoft thing. I'll tell you all about it in my future video, but they don't allow third parties to make cool accessories like this. They have to all be certified, pay Microsoft a bunch of royalties. Uh, but this gaming headset actually does work with all platforms. So if you're going to buy one that works with all platforms, this is the one you can again, plug this in for your Xbox users and go directly into your device. This also includes other things like hi-fi stereos or things, you know, maybe kids' tablets, things that maybe don't, you won't want to have Bluetooth on or you don't want to deal with that connection. You can plug it straight in, use it old fashioned way. So check in the chat real quick here. Jonathan Talks Hardware says, my Logitech G435 does not have multi-device support. I was surprised. I'm testing stuff so quickly. You know, I'm going back and forth and I hit play on the laptop and it quit playing the, you know, the, you know, mic on my um, phone wasn't working. I was like, wait, that's weird. I'm listening on my phone, but I hit play on the laptop and it stopped. And then I was like, oh, that's what it's doing. It's going back and forth with a handoff. It was connected to both devices at once. That's how I discovered it. Actually, it's kind of interesting there. Um, and Jonathan talks hardware coming back. He's another great YouTuber, by the way, check him out. He's got a great channel. A lot of latest desktops don't have Bluetooth. That's true. Uh, you buy these desktops, they don't include, if, unless you're getting a motherboard with Wi-Fi and Bluetooth together usually, and those are the Z70, Z90, whatever, um, you know, the, or sorry, 670, 690s, you know, the higher end boards, 570s, you're not going to get that unless you've got that Wi-Fi. So this little dongle helps out quite a bit. Let's talk about the coolest thing about them, which I thought was uh, excellent here. I'm just bringing them up on the Amazon show page. If you're just tuning in, this is John, the net guy. I appreciate you guys coming in tonight to watch this. And if you go visit my Amazon URL at the bottom, you're going to see that we have a carousel going. We've got this headset right now in the Amazon carousel. And I'll tell you what, I did not plan it this way, but man, if not all of the products, give me one second. I'm just hiding a couple things. If not all of the products tonight are an excellent value. So this one is already going to be 33% off. So list price is $59.99, which is going price for a headset like this. Again, rechargeable USB-C, wireless. There's all the stuff you can see on there. It's 20 bucks off. So it's $39 and then you can get 10% more off. So now you're back down to about $35 if you're logged into Amazon, which I'm not. And you get a choice of black or white, which is pretty slick. 
And I went through some of the other videos on here. Again, there's the different drivers. Like I said in the uh, audio, maybe I want a little bit more bass, but by the time I circled back and came around and played some different music, I think they're really good. Very solid headset. So if you're looking for a gaming headset that's under $40, this is probably my recommendation right now. And I tell you what, if you saw my studio, there's headsets hanging on the wall. They've been there for a year. I've got headsets all over that I've tried out. Uh, pretty decent setup here for you. I'm just double checking, make sure I didn't miss anything on these. Yep, pretty standard. Three different connectivity modes, which is awesome. And there you go. And long lasting battery. Let's take a look at that battery. So 35 to 40 hours. Wow, I didn't know that battery. That's a lot of playtime. That's like a week long of playtime, it's saying, before uh, you have to recharge. That's pretty impressive. So another cool feature there. We're going to keep moving right along, taking a look at the chat here. <laughs> All those features have me really curious about the price. Yeah, me too, Green. I can't believe that. You know, 35 bucks for, again, a lot of features. Like I said, my only gripe with them, if I had one, would be the fact the way that that mount works they're just a little bit noisy if you're moving around a lot but if you're a gamer that's you know watching a game you're not going to do it i was i was just shaking my head doing stuff like i do with the other ones and i felt a little bit of vibration in the top just the way that this mounts not a big problem but yeah like i said i'm excited for these and they're going to work with my xbox which my brand new other gaming headset does not so we'll talk about that in their video <laughs> awesome thanks for checking in my friend Okay, that is the gaming headset. We're going to the last set of earbuds. Somehow I went all earbuds in a row. I don't know how that worked, but hey, we'll give an applause or a cheer for the last one. Okay, taking a look real quick here for any messages on Amazon. Don't make me pronounce this company, but <laughs> the, uh, the actual easier model to remember is the TWS earbuds. So let's get started again here. I'm gonna pull these up real quick on the top down. There you go. You can see a quick look at them. Um, now, again, what's the difference between earbuds, headset, headphones? Usually headset earbuds, they're going to have a microphone. Headphones are usually not. So this is the TWS X03s. This is a wireless headset. Now, that means it's going to have microphones in it. I'm going to give you a microphone test on it. Now, I do my microphone test in the worst possible way. I do it in a big echoey room, so you give it a little caveat there. But let me show you this on the top down. So again, another nice black case. Pretty simplistic. Again, it's going to have a USB Type-C charging. This one does not have wireless charging, just so you know. Uh, but it's got another super secret trick up its sleeve, which we'll talk about here in a second. Um, these are the headphones eh, or headset earbuds, and they go in the opposite direction. So they, they package the opposite direction. But take a look at this. I open it up to activate them the very first time, drop them in. Look at that display. Super crystal clear display. 69. I didn't plan that. Here we go. <laughs> if I let them charge for too long, it won't be there. Now it says, and I will have to verify this at some point, it says you can charge these 15 times in here. Now my guess is it's got an 18650 or some similar battery underneath the display here because there's nowhere else for it to go. Uh, good set of earbuds, again, silicone ear cups for those that are interested in having that type of uh, you know, interface. It has audio controls by tapping touch sensitive audio controls on both sides. There's another trick to this though. Um, you can play them in single mode. So you can actually put one in and use it just by itself. I've done this to basically double my battery life. So I'll take one, I'll wear that, I'll charge the other, then I'll swap them and I can do that. Now let's take a look at battery life. See what it says here. Um, battery capacity, battery talk time, play time is 4.5 hours. The charge time is just 60 minutes. And like I said, it had in the manual 15 times charging, which is uh, pretty impressive. So that's the unit there, but I'll show you the super duper secret capability that has. What is that? It is a USB type A port. And over here, it's going to have another one. Sorry, my uh, camera today, I'm going to have to talk to its maker. Let's see. I'm going to do, I had like focusing issues earlier. There we go. Well, we're going to deal with that later. So that is the type C port on this side, which you would plug in here and then you'd plug into your charger. Now this one doesn't include a charger. None of the ones today do, but then if you go to this side, 
If you've got an Android tablet or a phone that's right on the brink of dying, you can plug it into this side. It has a secret charging brick in it. So, you know, how cool is that? I don't think I've ever seen a earbud case that's not super crazy big that has this capability, right? You know, I was expecting if it was going to be a battery pack that it wouldn't fit just in the palm of your hand. So there you go. So pretty slick little feature from TWS there. Audio sounds pretty good. Let me go ahead and pull those up. The microphone on these, like I said, going to have a little bit of an echo, but I'm testing in the worst possible room. And the, the microphone you're hearing me on today is like 10 times the cost of this. So don't, don't judge this one to that one. Here we go. I'm going to play this up for you and you guys can hear how this sound. Hey, it's John the Neck Guy. And these are the TWS X03s. What's neat about this one? Well, it's the first set of earbuds, these guys right here, that I've ever seen that have not only a charging case, but the case can charge your phone or other devices. Yes, got 2,000 milliamp charger built into the case. Now, case has got the standard capability of holding your earbuds, which is what you want. Size is a little bit wider than most, maybe a little bit thicker, but still fits in your pocket. The earbuds, well, they sound pretty good, actually, and hopefully you can hear how they sound now. So again, from TWS, these are the X03's wireless earbuds. Let me show you what they look like real quick. They come with three different size ear cups. They've got silicone ear cups. They just fit into each individual ear. They have left and right controls, and they even run single mode. So you could actually have one in one ear and just use it and just have your other ear open, which is pretty cool. They only connect to one device at a time, but it's pretty easy to switch in between devices. This has been John the Net Guy. Thanks for watching. Oh, thanks for the assist, my friend there. Yeah, he, he likes doing that. Um, again, I just want to show you what they look like in the ear. Pretty straightforward. Now I'm wearing, obviously, my headset, but very nice fitting. One thing I noticed about them is that they're fairly large. The audio sounds really decent out of them that comes out of them. And the other interesting thing is the driver is much bigger. So this one had a lot more of the low end that I was hoping for in the uh, the Capoxo N7s. So this definitely has the lower end audio capability. Um, again, very good headset uh, overall if you're looking for a set of earbuds. Let's go hit the Amazon. I'll tell you what the price is on these because I was, again, not blown away because, again, I'm surprised at how much stuff is out there and available. Oh, it's such a great deal right now. Uh, let's go ahead here. If you haven't visited my page before, this is my show page. Now I'm going to go ahead and pin my different lists on here. I can't do that because I'm not logged in on this one. But if you're looking today's, today's is actually the one that has that uh, Tech Day 4 headphones, portable monitor and more. That's my idea list. If you go into there, even if the show's not going, you can see this. Now, list price, $50 they're saying, which again, for all the capability, Bluetooth 5.3. These are waterproof, again, so if you're one of those people that's going out there and doing uh, heavy-duty sports in the wet, which I am not one of. Again, I do like fishing, and so it's fishing. It rains a lot up here, so maybe I take these out fishing with me. Um, if you want something that's got great stereo separation, the touch-sensitive controls, that kind of that, the single-play capability, some of these ones, you pull them out, they can't single-play. Like, you can't have one earbud in. So that's capability. Again, $50, not a bad price, 40% off. Again, I did not plan this. Uh, I think these were even overnight shipping to me. Um, $20 off on these as well. They're $29.99, but you've got another 20% coupon you can check off right there. Most likely, again, I don't know. You have to look at the terms on that one. And that's what you're getting. So again, pretty cool little device here when you think about it. Uh, one thing I love about that <laughs> is that little emergency charger. I can't tell you how many times I, you know, think, let me see if I hit the uh, focus button. Let's see. Will that do it now? Yeah, you know, it's nice when you tell it to autofocus that it does that. Look at that. So that's the USB <laughs> type A. That's the outgoing side of your charger. You plug that in. If you're an Android user, I'm sorry, but um, if you are, you have the ability now to charge Type-C. I can only say that until Apple goes with the Type-C on the 15. But uh, when you're ready to do that, go ahead and plug it in. Now, I'm already charging. You can see it's dropped a few percentages since we started. That's where I'm wondering if it actually really can charge that many times. But you're going to get a few charges out of this. If it's got the four and a half hours talk time, you put those back in there, and then you close it up, and they're going to charge away. So pretty cool, and you charge your USB-C device. 
there we go. Believe it or not, that is all of the earbuds. So if you've got any questions about these, wondering about any features, let me know. Um, all of them come with, you know, pretty basic user manuals. This one, if I remember right, was one of the better ones. It's just, uh, if this is the one, yep, just Chinese and English. But it's going to tell you everything you need to know about how to use it, you know, all the different features. And then it says 15 times mobile charging. You can tell me if I'm wrong there, but it says it on there. It says 15 times mobile charging. That's what I took that off of. Uh, tells you all the information. It will come with three different size of ear cups. Now, the buds themselves are going to be the same size no matter what, but the ear cups that it comes with, small, medium, and large. Um, there are other vendors that have more ear cup choices. Looks to be a pretty standard size, though. So if you've got a favorite set of silicone ear cups that you use, you might be able to swap them over here. So I'm going to put that away. And we are going to get our next product out. Thank you guys for tuning in here. I know we started a little bit later. Let me know if this time slot works for you. The other one, I kept thinking I was like right in the middle of dinner for some people. I know it was for us at 530. Most people are still driving home or you know trying to get where they are. So I started this one today at 630. We're just trying it out. Like I said, I'm going to do a show tomorrow. Tomorrow's is going to be at four, I think, because I've got to do some stuff. But maybe we'll, we'll play it around. I'll, I'll see what we come up with. Keep an eye on my channel and we'll go from there. And uh, if you're not already following me on Amazon, I see two people are watching on Amazon. You're not following me on Amazon. You're missing out. So I just have to say, hit that follow button. I'll give you a shout out. I'll say anything you say on the Amazon as long as it won't get me canceled. The next product I'm going to pull up is actually kind of cool. It is a portable monitor. Let me grab that real quick. Now, this was sent from from the itreview company so this is their m15 portable monitor i've started to become a big fan of these i know a bunch of other youtubers that are starting to become big fans of these because every once in a while you just need a quick display you need something to play your xbox on you're, you're debugging something you need to plug a display in that's bigger than your phone screen this thing has more connectivity than i've seen on any one of these portable monitors yet um, but there's some good and bad. So let's stick in through this and I'll tell you all about it. And you can make the buying decision here and see if this is the right one for you. So let's do a quick unbox for it. I'm going to bring it up on the top down camera. So this again is the M15 portable extension screen, they're calling it. This is for your laptop or PC or Mac or even some phones that are USB type C compliant. And see, you know, as soon as I do that, then it decides it wants to do the hunting thing. Let me see real quick here. I'm going to change the focus type to uh, spot. And then I'm going to tell it to spot in the middle. Sorry, guys. Again, I'm apparently new at this. <laughs> there we go. Uh, problem is I've got this like big white screen in front of it, and it has no idea what to focus on. But once I get closer, it'll do that. There we go. So we'll open it up here. This is what it looks like inside. Now, most of these are going to be very similar. They're going to have a portable cover that comes with this. So you don't have to worry about getting a case. The one thing I'll say about this one above all else and all the other ones that I've had yet, um, and I got to tag the right product here. The one thing I'll say about this <laughs> among all others, the lightest, 1.37 pounds. Now, light and thin look at that <laughs> that thing is razor thin it actually gets thinner as it goes up the electronics are the thickest part on this now let me go ahead and put some other pieces out here so you can see what actually comes with it all of the good connectivity is under here now save these cables but you're not actually going to need all of them so this is going to be your hdmi to mini hdmi port again saving a little room there um, this is going to be your usb a now, this one uses a micro USB charger. Now, it's three amps at five volts, so it's going to use quite a bit of power, but that comes via this brick. Now, the cool thing is you don't need this brick if you have a MacBook Pro or a sufficient you know, Dell XPS or similar model that's able to put out enough power. Now, what's funny, this cable is a mini display port. You never see these anymore, but I've seen them on certain iMacs um, from a few years ago. Mini display port, it's got that capability. And then lastly is the USB Type-C, the USB Type-C. Oh, here we go. Ta-da! 
I am enjoying portable monitors and laptop docks for PC debugging fits well in a backpack with a little screwdriver kit, flash drive. You know what? I think you just totally sold me on that. That is a great like total nerd out tool. If you got to go work on a server or something and you need something quick, I think as more things get HDMI, that's really cool. Very, very good. I like that. Um, so again, USB type C cable comes with it and it's going to have a 90 degree end and a regular end. I thought that was kind of cool. So let me show you how the connectivity on this works. I'm going to use my MacBook Pro back here. I did not set it up for the show today. So let's see where it's been at. <laughs> it's probably right in the middle of editing something. So if you've got a MacBook and I'm just going to go to the outside screen real quick here. So you're working on your MacBook and let's say you want to dual screen this. You want to, let me just make sure I'm not on the, uh, uh Oh, there we go. Oh, you pictures of my kids. How could I not? I gotta, I gotta show that. Hopefully that will stay up here. <laughs> Unfortunately, I don't think it will. I got cute pictures of my kids. I got a whole bunch of other stuff up here. Um, let's ignore, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to bring up, uh, what do we want to bring up? I'm going to bring up the Amazon homepage. I'm going to turn the Wi-Fi on. Okay. So I've got my MacBook pro. Let's say I'm doing some Photoshop work, which is a great idea. I got to make a thumbnail for one of my other videos coming out here. So I'm going to pull up one of my recent thumbnail projects. I'll bring this up here. Let's show you how a portable monitor might change your workflow. If you're a creative professional, especially somebody maybe that does photography. So I'm going to take this portable monitor that's here. I'm going to make some room for myself. I'm going to take this portable monitor. I'm going to open it up. Now it actually comes with a built in stand. So that cover is also a stand. This is again, all magnetic. So it's able to show you either what I want you to see or exactly what I've got on my screen. So you get to choose. Now I can use the curved uh, USB-C. I can plug it in there. I can plug in the USB-C here. Nobody send me a message on Discord. It'll come up. So there is the device coming right up. And again, you can change the angle that it's at. There's my cool Mac background. Now I kind of want to show you this on the top down just to show you how cool the display is on this. So there is that portable display. Look at the colors, the rich colors. It's an IPS display. It's completely powered and data is coming from my MacBook Pro. Now my MacBook Pro is not doing screen mirroring yet. It's actually doing an extension mode. But if I wanted to do screen mirroring, I can actually change the display settings and I can change it to mirrored display. Done, let's see. Do that. I want to do stand. I want to say mirror for my liquid XDA retina, whatever. Okay, let's show you what that looks like. So now I can be working on this new thumbnail that I was going to be producing, and I can show it to you there on this monitor. Now it's not going to look exactly the same, so I got to do some things. I can again surf different websites, do whatnot. I'm going to go to the display settings one more time. And I'm going to say optimize for the portable monitor. Then I'm going to get rid of the bars on the side there. So now it's actually the resolution <laughs> changed down. But there you go. So now I'm using Photoshop and I can edit that thumbnail right from this portable monitor. It's got a bunch of other cool features. I'm actually going to see. I don't think I can close this one, but I can move it to the side. Let me show you a couple of features on this while we have it. Now, like I said, this is running entirely off of the USB-C cable, which is brilliant. You don't have to bring any other cables if you don't want to. If you wanted to do HDMI, HDMI does not include power. So you're going to have to do something a little cooler here. So there we go. Just zoomed in. This is how I make my thumbnails. I bring up Photoshop. I come in here. I figure out what the thumbnail is going to look like. If you're seeing a little more a pattern or whatever, that's actually just a, a screen effect with the camera. It's not doing anything like that. So it's got USB type C. If you don't have power, you're using HDMI or something, you can plug this little thing in. My new van's got uh, an inverter, so we can plug this into the inverter plug this into the monitor, and now you've got a 15 inch TV in your van. Guess what else takes HDMI? Your Fire TV stick. So you can have a 15 inch TV in your car running off of this thing uh, with just a simple inverter or 
uh, a powerful enough USB brick. <laughs> so there you go. So that's how that works. Uh, again, a couple on-screen display features. Again, the viewing angle is going to be really good on this. So you can see there's a little bit of color shift on my camera, but you know, decent viewing angles. If you push the button on the right side, you're going to get the menu. I wish this could be a little bit bigger. Let me see if I can bring it up. So you've got backlight, contrast. You can change all those things. So if you need to turn it up or down, uh, you have dynamic contrast. You also have game modes. So if you want lower latency, you want it to do less image processing, you can turn that game modes on. So this is from ItReview. This is their M15 portable monitor. Let's go take a quick look at Amazon here. Because again, you guys are going to be shocked. I did not plan this this way. But it seems like everything that I'm putting out tonight is going to be on sale. I don't know why. So this one is $189 normally, $80 off. It brings it down to $109. So $109 for a portable second monitor. If you're a road warrior, I'm going on vacation here in a week and a half. So I'm taking uh, my big MacBook with me. If I want to slip this in my bag, it's a pound, 1.37 pounds to add an entire double of the screen size of my MacBook Pro so I can keep my email up there. I can do whatever I need. And if, like I said, I'm doing a professional shoot or a show or something, I can bring this out. If I want to have a 15 inch monitor somewhere, maybe you want to put this in some sort of kiosk or other mode. These things are $109 right now. So uh, a lot easier than lugging around a 24 inch. As a couple of my creator friends here have already said, they're very good if you're just doing diagnostics. So there you go, uh, 0.2 inches. Now that's 0.2 inches probably at the top. It does have a little bit more thickness at the bottom, but super easy to carry around with you. It does have different modes if you want to change it to be vertical for code reading. Uh, a lot of coders do that. And there you go. It also does support gaming. So anything that's got an HDMI port, it's going to do 1080p 60 as its maximum resolution, just to think about that. Very cool. And there you go. Uh, playing cartoons for, <laughs> cartoons for kids while you're working. You could. It, it has many display modes. So both Mac and PC can usually do extended mode, uh, duplicate mode, or second screen only mode. So you can decide, you know, maybe you want to close your Mac and just use this. Maybe you've got a 13 inch Mac and you want to work on the 15 today. But again, very pretty looking. I can actually... Um, boost up the contrast. You can boost up the color. I would recommend getting a calibrator on this one only for the fact that when I came out of the, the box on it, I had to, it was it set at 65 K um, for the white balance and I bumped it to 9,500 K and it looked better. So I think it would do with some, a little bit of calibration, but out of the box, if you're not a creative, if you're just using it for business, you know, email games that like, you know, things like that, it'll be great. So very cool. <laughs> As Green says, 109, solid. Yeah, they've come down a lot in price. This one, like I said, has some of the most connectivity I've seen on this platform. Let's bring this guy back down so you can see him. So that's the one side. You got USB Type-C, mini HDMI, and mini DisplayPort. I don't think you're going to use a mini DisplayPort much, but it was crazy to see that it even has that. On this side, oh gosh, I even forgot to tell you. Headphone output, because USB Type-C and HDMI can carry audio. It's got the menu rocker switch and a power on-off switch. It has speakers. Yeah, it, 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 uh, it should. I want to double check. Yes, it does. So you can pull it out there. 1.37 pounds, and they figured out how to set a set of speakers in this thing. Again, lots of capability in this little tiny display. Um, that means, like again, if you're on a, a trip somewhere, and you just want to maybe bring the gaming console on this trip, you got some audio coming right out of this, even if there's no uh, TV in that hotel. So from ItReview, this is their M15 portable monitor. Very interesting product if you're looking for something like that. I'm going to move these out of the way. I've got, oh, you know what? I have one more item, and that's going to go on this thing as well. <laughs> so if you have a 15-inch MacBook, there's another interesting thing I want to show you. Yeah, sorry, if you have a, sorry, a 15.6 PC, I happen to have a 16 inch MacBook. So this doesn't work directly with this. Uh, a 15.6 inch PC, I've got a privacy screen. Now I'm debating if I should go grab that. <laughs> Here we go. One second, I'm just double checking the chat on Amazon, seeing if anybody's there. If you're on Amazon, give me a follow down there. That's awesome. I, I totally appreciate that. 
Um, so there is the display again. Let's show you how you plug that in. It was super easy if you plug it into the correct side. Now, this does not just work with portable displays. I'm actually thinking I'm going to grab my 15-inch MacBook, uh, not MacBook, uh, PC for this, my Dell, um, because I want to show you this product correctly. And what it's for is your privacy, whether you're on airlines, coffee shops, things like that. Uh, every once in a while, you got to work. Like I said, I'm going to go on that vacation. I might bring my work computer. And if I do... I may or may not have to work around other people, which should not see what I do in healthcare. So give me one second. I'm going to grab this PC. <laughs> I'm going to bring this over because I just happen to have the perfect PC for this. <laughs> I was like, oh, okay. Give me one second. I'm going to bring up my logo for just one segundo. I'll be right back. I'm still here with you. Okay. Welcome back. Welcome back, everybody. I just had to make sure I had the proper information on here and all sanitized and everything because it is my uh, working computer here. That I'm going to show you guys. <laughs> and I'm going to bring up an Excel spreadsheet here. Do they have a template that I can use? Template, template, new. And there's a reason I want to do this is, uh, let's say, blood pressure tracker. That sounds personal, doesn't it? So I'm using a 15-inch Dell laptop here. And what I wanted to show you is this screen. So if you're looking at that screen, which you can't see right now, so if you're looking straight onto that screen, you can see the private information. You can see it at angle. I can't tell you how many times I've taken airline trips, been two rows back, one row over, and I see over my, you know, the, the seat, somebody working on a business proposal. I saw one of these new apps that was coming out for banking, and it was funny because they were not launched yet. And I was uh, headed to this place. And sure enough, I'm like, you know, that would be a really good thing to invest in. I could make quite a bit of money. So again, privacy is super important. Just want to show you this on the main screen. So then again, you got your Excel spreadsheet up there. This is the next product I want to show you guys. We're gonna do a quick unboxing. This is called an anti peeping mat. Now, you'll see this at a lot of banks or other places where financial information is shown. Uh, very important. We'll go on the top down rig here for just a second so I can show you the unboxing of this. So there's the anti peeping screen. Now, what's really important about this one is it's 15.6 inches. It will fit perfectly on your screen if it's a 15 point inch, 15.6 uh, inch screen. It will also work on that portable monitor that I also have. So if you wanted to have that on the portable monitor, let's see what's inside of it. There is the polarized screen. And I thought there was going to be some stickers, which there are. Yep. Just hiding way down on the bottom. Now, this has two different mechanisms for attachment. You can either attach the corners with these sticky pieces, or what I'm going to do for this laptop. So there you go. You can see it like that right there. I'm actually going to put the adhesives that they have on the side there because I want to be able to slide this in and out. So if I want to take it off now, these will diminish like a very light set of sunglasses, the view of your screen. So let's take this out. There's an interesting thing here when they made this, um, when they made this, it actually has two different sides. It's got a gloss side and look at that. See how my screen, if I just turn it a little bit off axis, almost completely disappears. Let's do that without this screen. And I'm going to show you what it looks like because it's completely different. What's funny is it's like fits so perfect. So there you go. You see it dims a little bit because my monitor on these Dells is awful, but you can still completely read that. Now, if I take this, I'm doing it on the other side. Let's see if it's going to reset that camera. Come on. Oh yeah. We're going to have to switch cameras here. <laughs> okay, I'm going to show you this this way and let's let's hope it does this. So again, this is with the adapter on it. Now, as, as soon as I turn 
you can see reflections because I'm not using the matte side of it. I'm using the reflective side. Let's see what the matte side looks like. Where is that? Let's see. Uh, it's good. It's, it's a little bit better. Let's put it that way. But again, you can see the contents disappears. That blackness. This laptop is on and I'll take this off and you're going to get to see it. There's the screen. So that's one way to do it. If we want to install this, and I want to double check that I've got the right connections for the installation. Let's go back to the instructions here. So there's the instru installation instructions. One, you can actually connect it with the plastic tabs. You just put them in the corners. Again, separate the buckle. It says here, remove the plastic tab and you put those tabs all around the monitor. Um, that will allow you to slide it in and out if you have to, for whatever reason. If you want to install it double-sided, that's a permanent installation, you can do that. So that's another feature that you can have there. So wanted to show you that capability real quick. Let's take a look at this real fast. Um, a little check in there. The nice thing about this is the price on this is not very bad. I was taking a look and it looks like right now... Um, this one was around, if I remember, 12 to 13 bucks. So for 12 to 13, 13.99, you can protect your privacy if you're traveling, if you're at work. Okay, so there they are. So there's the little tabs that it has. I'm going to show you guys how to install this, hopefully here. <laughs> there we go. So these little tabs here. have a sticky side. Now, technically, I'm going to want to put this in first. Let me go ahead and see which side is the, the matte and which is the reflective. That's the reflective side. That's the matte side. Let's double check this. Let's double check this. Yeah, there's the reflective. So you can see it there. Wow, look how fast that goes. Like the camera loses focus because it can't, it can't see anything anymore in that center of the image. So as soon as I do that, the camera's going to go, <laughs> go crazy. But you can see just by moving the the thing how quickly that locks out. I want to do the matte side out. Now matte side um, on monitors doesn't make the blacks look as black. That's one of the drawbacks. But then you can take these little tabs. Now I'm not sticking the monitor here. I'm sticking. The screen protector in and you can decide how many of these and you know what structure you want on them um, but i'm going to go ahead and take those off so let me know if you guys are interested in this in the chat it, would you be interested in something to protect your privacy while you're out now i to protect my privacy had to put my <laughs> logo up there temporarily for you guys but uh let me know what you think about this you know for 14 dollars, is it worth you know, keeping your financial information or your banking or whatever uh, to be yours, your eyes only. So this feature, now it was talking about when you install this to put one down here at the bottom. I'm going to cover the Dell logo so that it doesn't flip up that way. And then this one looks a bit interesting. There we go. These longer ones here can be used along the sides to keep the uh, display in. Oop, <laughs> slippery little devil. Okay. Doing that. There we go. And you can put the taller ones down here along the bottom sides. So I can still remove this if I have to, for whatever reason, I need to look at the screen without this. But by adding this to my screen, I've increased the privacy potential a ton and again very easy to install <laughs> now that is an excellent use case for this jonathan talks hardware knows all about this if you want to hide your content from your teachers throw this yeah put a privacy screen on your your school's chromebook man that would be the total epic win i think i'm gonna have to promote that so that's all that was required to install now it does have some other accessories in here i'm gonna just take a look in here Ah, screen cleaning cloth, 
a couple other things now again it's not permanent mounting so you've got a dust sticker and some other things so they include just a standard screen cleaner if you need to do that i probably should have done that before i stuck it down but there we go so again this is now a privacy screen look at that it's just throwing the the camera off because it can't see anything either let's see if it does that to the other camera so we'll go back out here so you can see my information and well <laughs> now you can't so at off axis it definitely hides it on this one uh but let's take a look at the gopro side here i'm kind of curious now which one does this so gopro look at that that's like 10 percent yeah 10 15 percent. yeah it goes very very quickly so much better than the stock uh factory <laughs> thing that's going to definitely protect your information i got one last product for today and like i said i got a bunch of cool products coming tomorrow uh, it looks like it's going to have some extra adhesive here that comes with it if you're interested in attaching it directly to the screen you don't think you're ever going to take it off that's another really cool option so again this is the anti-peeping screen for 15.6 inch computers that you can use i'm going to show you guys one last product today and that is actually for your smart home. It's a very simple product. I'm going to pull it up here. But simple doesn't mean bad. Simple just means that it's something that most people will need if they're doing this. And I'm going to bring out another product that we've tested before just to see if we can do a quick test of it. Okay. So it is up in the carousel. Perfect. Let's go on the top down view. So this right here, <laughs> you know what? I just got an error message on my recorder. Give me one second. I've got to hit stop. I've got a disk full message on my recorder. This is how I record my content for the show. I'm going to take a backup that I have over here. Knew that thing was blinking at me for a reason. <laughs> it's saying, hey, you're running out of space. I've been making a lot of content lately. Let's put it that way. Plug that drive in. Coming up. Ooh. Ooh, it doesn't like that one either. Give me one second here. Let's see if I can figure out what that is doing before we go on to the next step, because I don't want to miss out here. And not be able to show you guys this. Give me one second here. View details. I did not remove the last show. And I tell you, these shows are about 100 gigs each, believe it or not. <laughs> and so I did not remove my last show off of the storage disk. And that's what it's complaining about. TM2. Let me just double check this file and make sure that's what it was. Yep, that's what it was. Okay. Okay. I'm going to give myself a little bit of storage back here and we will go back to showing this. Uh, we're going to trash can that delete and I'll plug this back in. <laughs> Sorry about the delay there. You know, it's live. What do you do? I'm going to go back over here. Oh yeah. Green. He's rubbing it in. Went to 120 terabyte NAS and I love to back in the space. Yeah, well, they don't let me plug a NAS into this thing. It has to take SSDs for my recorder. So let me go back over here. I record now that it's green. I can do that. So thank you, everyone, for your patience here. Go back out and we'll start over again. So this is a 24 volt AC wall adapter. Now, why would I need to take 120 volts and turn it down to 24 volts? Well, if you've got a smart thermostat, this is a very niche product, but very important if you don't have a C wire on your thermostat. What's a C wire? That's common wire. This is going to be an AC. You're going to have your common wire and then you're going to have a line. Now, this one right here is something that you can add. I'm going to pull it up on the side camera and there you go. So this is the HT0666-1116. I'm going to do a quick unbox on the top down. What does that look like? Very simple. It's going to have a bunch of clips. Now, why does this one have all these clips? Well, it's meant to be hard mounted. So you're going to find an outlet that's nearby your smart thermostat, whether it's a wise thermostat, a Nest thermostat, any of the cool ones. Honeywell even requires this on their other thermostats now. Any of the smart thermostats that require power, 
are going to require something like this. Now, this is an incredibly long cable. I need to pull this up on Amazon real quick just so I can say exactly how long that cable is. 16.5 feet. Now, code says you got to have an outlet every six feet in a room, but if your house is old enough to need a C-wire, probably needs that 16.5 foot cable. This is that really long cable. Now, what's this for? 24 volt AC, long terminals here. That's going to be allowing you either through a relay or directly to your smart thermostat uh, wiring, be able to provide 24 volts to that thermostat. That's going to be able to turn it on. Now, I'm not going to zap myself here because this is <laughs> AC, but I'm going to go ahead and plug this in and you'll see what happens. So I'm plugging this in over here. And there's the top of the, the uh, wall wart, which I'm going to show you in just a second. But I'm going to switch this over to volts AC. And I'm going to just hold down on each terminal and you're going to get to see what the reading is. Hopefully you guys can see that there. So that reading, when I hold this down properly, oh, it's on DC for some reason. Uh, function AC, there we go. There we go. So 26, 25, 24, it's going to float around a little bit. It's because it doesn't have a load. That's another problem on this demo here is you got to have a load for this thing really, but, and actually I got to make a good connection, but it's going to be over there around 25 volts. Once you put a load on it, it'll regulate itself a lot better. Uh, 24 volt AC wall wart. There's the label on it. 24 volts at 300 milliamps. Believe it or not, that's enough to charge your Nest thermostat, your Wise thermostat, uh, any of the styles of thermostat you have. I'm going to bring this up over here in Amazon so you can see it a little bit better. And this is what it comes with. Very good ratings. 1140 ratings here already. $13.99. Where does this fit into your whole system? It's going to be for your either your Nest thermostat, your Ecobee, Sensi, Honeywell, um, or your outdoor doorbells. Now, be real careful here because some doorbells can take 24 volts. Some cannot. <laughs> there are other ones. Uh, but if your doorbell manufacturer or your old doorbell transformer is going bad, if your doorbell manufacturer allows you to use 24 volts AC, this one's ready to go for you on that. Another cool feature about it here. So I'm going to scoot out of that one. Let's take a look else. So this is how this works. Again, older houses or installations of HVAC that don't have voltage at the device will not work with smart devices. So this solves that by giving you a smart uh, device power supply, essentially 16.5 volt cable or uh, foot cable and long C wire adapter thermostats compatible with most versions of the ring doorbell and smart thermostats. Now, the other thing is the further you go out, the longer the voltage drops. So if you were doing a doorbell and you were way out there, this thing might drop down uh, closer to the 20 volts. I know they go like 10, 16, 20. So there you go. Uh, two pin polarity, easy installation. Doesn't matter which direction you wire this thing. It's going to work just fine. And let's see what people commonly purchase this with. Well, the seven day programmable thermostat. There you go. Or the color version of that. Looks like both of those require a C wire, it's called. So there you go. Um, again, this is a very good option. I'm going to use this in a future video. I talked to the vendor about this one, but I actually want to go take my wise thermostat and hook it to my millivolt or, you know, very, very low voltage fireplace. So my fireplace can turn on and off with my smart thermostat, but I don't have power. So that's another great use case of this. This is going to be part of an electronic project coming up here, which is going to use a relay, use this, and my millivolt uh, fireplace and be able to control and voice control my old fashioned, you know, gas fireplace. Thank you guys for tuning in tonight. This has been John, the net guy. I appreciate you guys for tuning in to tech day. It is Tuesday. I'm going to do another show tomorrow. So stay tuned, watch on Amazon. If you're not following me already on Amazon, it's a great opportunity for you guys to do that. You'll get notified each and every time I go live. <laughs> Thanks, Ben. <laughs> Uh, ben just gave me a thanks on there. It's late your time. Thanks for staying up, my friend. Uh, he gave me a thanks on Amazon. That's awesome, you guys. 
And again, thanks to all of the vendors that shipped in products today to be reviewed. Uh, lots of really cool tech. Like I said, you can't go wrong with a lot of the headphones that I saw today. I'm looking forward to using that portable monitor in a variety of ways. And as you saw, I already installed that screen. I don't even get a privacy screen with my computer and I would love one. So I've added that and I'm looking forward to it. So thanks again, everyone for checking in and I will catch you guys all in a future video.